Well, hey there, YouTube fellow silver stackers, silver poor, silver enthusiasts, AG Ender with you here today, and kind of a mid-month update since I happen to get one, two, three packages today. I know what they all are, I haven't looked at any of them yet, but we'll start off with some of the pickups for the month so far. And there's, let's see, one, two, three, four fifty in ninety percent. Got four Washingtons, a Barber, and a Standing Liberty Quarter, a sixty-four Kennedy half, three Franklin halves, two Walking Liberty halves, and that's it. For the 90%, well, this could be, but I've got this in a trade. Kind of more compensation for silver pours. Got a 19, 1883 V nickel. Also in that deal, I got A, or N, whatever you want to call it. 1875 One Corona from Sweden. And... In that same deal since the flip that it's in broke have it in a bigger flip here uh, Republic of Panama 1970 five Balboas and then I too picked up one each of the Apocalypse, or Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse rounds that just came out, the first one. Got the White Horse of Conquest here in copper. And you got the four horses here on the back around the shield. And of course the silver version here. And like you saw with a couple others most likely, I will be getting the box as well. I'll probably do that on the next order, the next release, when they put out the second one I also there was a deal I got in the mail it was a 2017 American Eagle at spot so of course you gotta jump on that when you can it was just one but it's still one more than I had before oh there was also one dime Roosevelt 1956 and then a couple of these I got at the LCS today I also got one other coin here, but I'll show you this one first. Oh, we saw a peak of it. A 1961 canoe dollar, Canadian silver dollar here. And then what I picked up today is my first Onza 2016. And it's tough to pass them up when you see them in the random bin at the LCS for a buck over spot. So there we go on that one. So, first off, we'll open up this package. Make sure to not show any pertinent information here on the packing slip. We'll cut that open real quick. So, here is the cardboard that they package it in. We'll rip that open here and we have three, three more, oh, I guess I did that wrong, it's a little Ziploc bag kind of thing, zip, or, uh, well, too late now, but it's vacuum sealed Ziploc bag, I'll have to pay attention if I pick anything else from this eBay seller again, and they're uncirculated, but they've been in a collection somewhere. And pull one out of the flip here. So they're a bit scuffed up. Like I said, they've been in somebody's collection, but they are uncirculated. At a 66, a 66, and another 66. So three more Canadian silver dollars to add to my collection of those. And this one here, we have. Mr. 925 Stacker. I will have a link to his channel down below once I get done, but 
I did pick up a silver 999 domino from him. Here's the other side of his COA here. The email if you care to get in touch with him for a piece that you've seen him do. He does some great casting work as well. A couple in particular, the owl head and the full owl body. So, give me a moment here to cut this open without scratching my domino. That would be an absolute disaster. So let me be careful here. Sorry for the delay, but like I said, it would be a disaster to put a nice scratch right down the middle of something that I know took a lot of time to get polished the way he does these. And, and they're still... There we go. I think that got it. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Now I can peel the tape off a bit. I think I'm just going to... Oh, almost dropped it. So, here's the back, which I can clean up a little bit here with my silver cloth. Okay, sorry about that. Knocked over the tablet again. Cleaned it up here just a bit, and I do think I put a mark in it because it did fall after all that work not to drop it or do anything but there is the back and the double eight so like i said this is some real good work here especially on the polishing side which i keep smudging up with my hands but there we go once again mr 925 stacker i appreciate it thank you very much and then Last but not least for the day is a package from Mr. Silver Moldmaker. You may know him as Silver Diva's husband, and they recently got themselves a CNC machine and have started producing molds. So, take a look here real quick at the two molds that I had him do for me to begin. And hopefully do many more in the future. I've got a couple other ideas, but we'll see where we go from here after these two. Which ones I want to do. So, get the tape off. First up, which you see here also, he got his name on it. Silvermoldmaker at gmail.com And you got home plate with a baseball here in the middle. Had this idea for a little while, and that looks like it should come out great. Got the stitching on the ball right here in the middle of the home plate. Got a little raised section there, so it's going to stick out a bit on that bottom side, or top side, however you decide to lay it out. Has a nice little ridge here. Hopefully that gives me a good border as well, kind of like some of the shields out there. And actually, this isn't quite as deep as I had originally thought, so it might not take as much silver as I thought it would. But until you get it actually on graphite and in the design and all that, you just don't know how deep you're going to get. And then, here is my other idea, which is a maze. And I don't... well... The edges are actually, or what, what the walls will be, are these recessed areas, the deeper ones. So I got, however you want to look at it, entrance, exit, entrance, exit, here, so you can find your way around the maze. This one as well, probably won't be as heavy as I originally thought it might, but there it is. And then, of course, he threw in a little bar shape here at the bottom, so we'll see what that works out to be weight-wise as well. Come the weekend, we will have a bit of pouring to do and something a little bit different, not just the states and the wood pours that I've been doing lately. But that will do it for the time being. Thank you all once again for stopping by. Likes, shares, comments, subscriptions, all greatly appreciated. Down below, 
you will see a link also for Silver Mold Maker, his channel, and once again, 925 Stacker. So, that will do it. A.G. Enders signing off. Have a good night.